Welcome back, YouTubers. I'm your host, TubeBunny, and today we're going to be taking a look at and inside of the uh, Pelican Ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge here in today's video. So I had this thing sitting around forever in an old Starburst uh, Flavreds Fruit Chews box. And I recently needed to uh, plug a computer into the network that was too far away from the router to just plug in with a normal cable. I'd remembered that I had this sitting around and that it didn't work. I had got it used some time ago in this Starburst box. And I, it was working, but I didn't really have a use for it at the time. I lent it to a friend, got it back, found it was working, put it back in the box. Uh, lent it to a friend again, got it back, and I could not get it to work. I couldn't go through the setup wizard. It just wouldn't work. So I, I took a close look at it, did a lot of research on this, and uh, finally did get it to work. So I might, uh, some of my experiences today might help some of you. If somebody happens to have the same bridge, then it um, might just help you. Anyway, we'll unbox it here, what it would, a used unboxing video. Uh, this is the bridge itself. Oops. Um, as you can see, I haven't cleaned it up. Um, friend's got some kind of nasties on there. Uh, you got a few lights on the front uh, for power, and when you're using it, a button that doesn't do anything. In the back, you know, it's the usual uh, stuff. MAC address. Um, you got an antenna that can go snaps two ways and can also spin around but only uh, to here or here after that it stops. On the back we've got a, a hole for the AC adapter, a reset pin that restarts but will not actually reset the settings on this, uh, an upside down ethernet jack and a non-removable antenna. So, uh, AC adapter here, uh, just looks like a standard, I don't know what that is, if we can uh, get into focus here, 12 volt 1.0A AC adapter, and uh, CD with that uh, with the setup software on it. First, we're going to take a quick look at the insides of it. It's all just held together by two small screws here on the bottom. After the second screw is removed, the top of it just comes off. It's still kind of held together a little bit in the front, just with some snaps there. And the top comes off there. So you can see here uh, all the stuff that plugs in back there. Uh, the antenna is permanently mounted there. There might be a way to get it out, but I'm not going to worry about that. It seems to work well enough anyway. Uh, it just plugs in there with, you know, one of those uh, antenna connectors down there. You got a thing there. This is actually uh, XG1020. Oop, it'll focus in there. Which is actually some kind of repeater or something, which has all the same stuff. It's basically the same board, I guess, maybe with a different firmware on it or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm an expert on this sort of thing. But underneath that, that's all that's in there, though. So we'll uh, put it back together and see if we can start it up. Well, now we're going to do a more practical review uh, and look at the Pelican here. Uh, the f uh, we'll go over a few of the hardware features. On the back, interestingly enough, there are um, some mounts here. You could put it on a wall and then just put the antenna straight up, and then uh, you wouldn't have to worry about setting it down anywhere. So for setting it up, you know, you'll just uh, put it there. We'll, I'll undo the twist tie on here and plug it in real quick. Now this thing does take a little while to start up, so you can uh, time this as you go along. Uh, you know it's completely started when the uh, green light on the far right lights up solid. Now as far as signal strength goes, it's not too bad. It's a little bit better maybe than my, uh, my Lenovo's antenna here. Uh, here in the basement where signal isn't too great, uh, I got 7 MB per second down on speedtest.net. And I got 9.7, I think. Um, 
So it's not like it's just a little cell phone antenna. There, it's it's decent. I mean, it's a it's antenna the length of your finger though. And it is um, the the most the toughest part of this thing is just getting it set up. And I've got the software here on just a CDR that it um, came with. The uh, oh, there we go. See now it's started and ready to go. So you plug it in, um, and the problem is the CD doesn't always work. And uh, I've it's it's flaky. I got it to work on one computer. I thought the thing was completely junk until I actually got the setup to work on that one computer. Usually with stuff like this, uh, you can plug it in and then you manually assign yourself an IP address on it. Then you go to like you go to like 192.168.1.99 or something to configure it similar to like what you do on the first setup of a router. Uh, this one there are instructions for that and I swear I got it to work once but I cannot figure out how to do it now. So the CD for me right now is the only way to get it to work. Maybe the things broke or something but I did get it to work on a, a XP desktop. Um, sometimes you gotta adjust the antenna a little bit depending on where you are. It does seem to get the job done though. I mean, you know, we're in 2012 now, wireless networking equipment doesn't cost that much anymore. If you YouTubers ever get the opportunity to buy one of these, I would not spend any more than uh, $10 on one since you can get a nice Linksys router used that you can put custom firmware on, used for the same purpose and many other things. Uh, you can get those used for $20 on eBay easily and you get a lot more ports in the back. If you see a used one for a dollar or two at a yard sale, I definitely recommend it. So to sum it up here, uh, the good, if you can get one used, they don't cost very much. Mounting things there for, uh, if you want to mount it on the wall, the bad, the antennas permanently <clears throat> mounted setup can be kind of tricky, and it does take a very long time to start when you first plug it in, although that's not a problem if you leave it plugged into the wall constantly. Anyway, this was uh, Two Bunny. This was one of my gear videos as I show you some things I commonly use around the house on a regular basis. Glad you all could make it out to watch the video today, and uh, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and all, all that other good stuff that uh, makes me more famous on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys.